Hello everyone, welcome to my little channel again. Uh, this video is just a little demonstration of uh, how my truggy handles on a loose surface like this with 500k uh, silicon diff oil in the diffs, both diffs, and uh, s lowered shocks with the stiffer springs on. So it's very stiff, very low, uh, and it's got the uh, 500k uh, diff oil in both diffs, which stops the inside wheel inflating, which makes it nice for drifting on surfaces like this. So I'm going to try and demonstrate going around these uh, training cones that I've done. Just like an oval or a figure of eight, drifting round, and you get an idea of how a truck handles when you set it up like I have. Well then, so I've not actually practiced yet this this morning. This will be straight from raw, uh, but it should just demonstrate how well it handles now. I've got the steering in high rates on my controller, so it will sling about a bit, and I may demonstrate what it's like on low rates as well, uh, and the effect of that, making it not sling it around so much. I've got it in high rates, so it's in 100%, and I've got a 60 amp, Hobby Wing ESC in it now as well. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll already know that. Right, here we go then. So let's have a little go. Oop. You'll notice that it's not inflating the inside wheel like it would ordinarily do. drifts nice and if you get off the steering quick it will straighten out like that look so if you just let go when it's drifted just let go and straightens out again the other way I like it like this, stiff and bouncy. I'll give you an idea what the punch is like on this 60 amp. I'm only, I'm barely touching the throttle. If you can see my hand there, I don't know. Just little taps. Whoop. Liquid taps. <laughs> set the cones up again. Right, ready to go again. This is a cool little spot near where I live. Literally one minute's walk. And it's a nice little gravelly drifty area. This is kind of what the four really. If you if you're gonna bash it and smash it, it's great if you love that, but you're gonna spend a lot of money on parts. Anyway, that's enough for that, I think. A little demo, but let me just slip it across the car park. Ooh, see how the brakes are loads better now. Quick wheeler. Yep, Whee! See how the brakes are so much better now. Here's the reverse, and then a forward J turn to the cones now. I'm just going to sling it about all over the place. If anyone wants to watch it, how it handles on this surface for a minute or two. This is it, man.
But now, I'm going to put it in low rate steering so it does very little, that's maximum lock there, look. And you'll see the difference how it won't spin out so much. And you have to really uh, use the throttle to drift it round. So this is on much lower rate steering and you'll see, see it doesn't, th doesn't throw itself around too much. And you can uh, keep going <laughs> rather than spinning on the spot. The throttle response and the reverse response on this is much better than standard. As you can see there, I just did a J-turn. Hopefully you can see it. So let's see if we can do that again. Right, so I'm going to reverse it, spin it round, keep it coming round, turn left and then forward. Oh, hey. Oh, you can do very fast J-turns now. You can. Watch this. Another J-turn. So I'll stop, reverse, spin it and forward. You can get it in forward before you finish turning around. I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement. An improvement with this 60 ampere C in it. For sure. It didn't go any faster, if you've noticed from my last video. Or one of them. Maybe it's not my last video, but you'll notice that I did a speed test with the 60 ampere PSC in it and it didn't go any faster, well slightly, 0.3 of a mile an hour faster but you can put that down to a battery difference so anyway, I think I think that's about it for this this one that's about as entertaining as I can be in this area thanks for watching, cheers